If you're looking for how to link your Deliver account to your MT5 or MT4 app, I believe you already have a Deliver account. So the next thing you need to do is to download your MT4 or MT5 app. You can download from Play Store or Apple Store. Just download it and then follow these steps I'm going to show you in this video. And then you'll be able to link your Deliver account to your MT5 app. So here in my phone, I have Deliver account and my MT5 installed already. Log into your Deliver account. You can log in via the app if you have the app or you can log in from chrome or any browser of your choice so like, let me log in with chrome so here i'll open chrome and here is my deliver account i've already signed in to make the video faster so here under this traders hub you will see reel and if you click on it to be showing demo and reel so if you're showing demo you can switch to reel or anyone so depending on accounts you want to link whether demo or reel is still the same process so but in this video i'll be linking my real account so now i'm on real account i'll click click on this cfds or cfds click on it and here i will see the list of accounts accounts that i already have so if you don't have account yet it will be showing get and when you click on get account you'll be asked to create a trading password and after creating the trading password you'll be given your trading info or trading details so i have my account i have like three accounts here one is closed so i'll be linking this one mt5 financial i'll be linking this one so this transfer option is for transferring of fund as if you want to fund your account or you want to transfer money from your derivative account to your trading account so you that's where you use this transfer option i'll click on open to link the derivative account to your mt5 app all you have to do is to click on this trade with mt5 mobile app when you click on it you'll be taken straight to the derivative app that you have already installed this tutorial will work for both android and iphone so you'll be taken straight to the app and you'll be asked to log in they have already found the broker for you and they have already input the login id for you the next thing you have to do is to click on save password so that you will not be logging in anytime you open the mt5 or mt4 app so just save the password and then input your password like the trading password that you created once you put it you'll be successfully signed into your deliver account if you are using mt4 all you have to do is to copy your deliver details and then use it to log into your mt4 that's the way i'm going to do it now so let me copy the broker this is there if i've copied it go back to my mt5 so here i'll click on this plus icon here and then i'll find broker and i'll search for broker let me say there if we are the one i copied and then i'll search so here is it the broker that i copied i'll now click on it so here it's asking me to input my login the password and the server so save password which i said you should always check so now I'll go back and copy my login here is my login here is it i'll copy then i'll go back and put my login so let me paste my login so i've pasted my login so now this is the server if the server you pay attention to say the server is different from this the river bvi server that's what i'm currently on like if I go back here, as you can see, there will be the I server. But if your one is different from the one they gave, you just switch it there and then input your password. So here, the server is accurate. Let me just input my password and proceed. So, so now I have input my password. I have to continue now. I'm logging so i'm logging in now so here you can see i've successfully logged in so when i click on chat you will see that i'm, I'm logged in already here are the pairs quotes this and here are the charts and here is the trade so this is my account balance i don't see any need so that is how to link your very account to your mt5 or mt4 app so if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. If you are still finding it difficult to fund your derivative account, please check out this video I made on how to fund your derivative account. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.